Right. Uh, so this is a schematic of a gas uh, heat pump, gas absorption heat pump process uh, in a heating mode. Uh, gaps do come in a ground source or a water source to water configuration as well. But this here is a representation of an air to water system. Uh, there's a lot of standard stuff in this gap unit, uh, like a burner, a gas valve, fan, pump. Uh, there's an evaporator and a condenser. Uh, but the main difference from an electric heat pump or an air conditioner is that there's no compressor here. Instead, there's a generator and an absorber at the top of the cycle, uh, as you can see here. Uh, so how does it work? Uh, it, first of all, the heat is supplied at the burner uh, to heat the ammonia water mixture in the generator. Uh, this ammonia, uh, this excites the ammonia and the vapor separates from the mixture. It goes uh, towards condenser. And inside the condenser, it exchanges heat with the water that is coming from the NU, such as domestic hot water or space heating system. This heat exchange cools the ammonia and it makes its way uh, to the expansion valve, starting to condense. The expansion valve actually reduces the pressure and the boiling point of the ammonia, uh, <clears throat> which then enters the evaporator where we have uh, free heat in uh, which is collected from the outdoor or the ambient air and it is transferred over to ammonia which then starts boiling making its way to the to the absorber where uh, we have water from step one the mixture is formed again sent back to generator and the cycle completes uh, in the cooling mode the cycle just reverses so it's just a very quick way of explaining what's happening nothing rocket science here it's very simple and uh, very straightforward